Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to paint the security gate that we recently installed. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end because we're going to show you the entire process of how we were able to paint this security gate in two different colors. The upper half, we did it in white and the lower was in black to try to match the wall that it's going to be next to. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of DIY projects, home renovations, including how to spray paint like we're going to be doing today, then you're in the best place here on YouTube since that's all we do here at Frank's Handyman Service. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. This is the security gate that we recently installed. We're going to be painting it in two different colors. I already painted the top portion the day before. And today I'm going to be focused on showing you how to paint the lower half, which I think it's a, the more challenging portion of this project. The upper one, I'm going to follow the same steps. I had already put plastic around the walls and the furniture, and I pretty much just painted everything, took my time. With the white portion, I had to put primer first. And then after that, I applied two coats of primer and then two coats of the white paint. And for the bottom, I'm just going to apply the black paint directly, especially since it's a really dark color. What I'm doing here is I'm cutting a piece of cardboard and I'm cutting a little slot so I can fit it into the aligning it up with the security gate. And then on this other side, I'm going to do the same thing, just basically putting plastic directly through and behind the gate and taping it to the walls to the table just trying to have it nice and standing up on its own and from there i'm going to cut a couple slots in this little section of cardboard that's going to help me so i can drew, do the straight line and from there on this side i have one section i just place it aligning it to the 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 decorations that the homeowner has or the business owner has because he has like the like a slower part that's black and so I'm just putting in the cardboard right there aligning it up with that and then I'm just painting it carefully the especially on that upper part I want to make sure that I have it all ready and from there I'm just starting to paint the lower part now I'm just applying like a decent amount of paint not too thick and not too thin so I can get as much even coverage as possible. And from there, I'm gonna carefully turn it over and I'm gonna paint the back. Now, if I can give you a tip to have your project even better than mine, is I recommend for you to do the back part first. That's what I'm doing right here. And the reason is, this is the area that people are not gonna see as much as the front. So. I guess I should have painted this first and then the front so that way I can ensure that um, I get the best finish on the front side which is what people are going to see. But either way, you know, I'm being very careful. I'm turning it over and in the front if I see any like smudges or, or any areas that are missing, I'm just t making sure that I take care of it now. On this other side as well, I'm, I'm trying to place plastic everywhere, cardboard. If you have a drop cloth, just make sure that all the surrounding area is covered so when you're spray painting, you don't want any of that to go on the floor or on the furniture. And this will allow you to paint no matter where you're at. And so right here, I'm placing that cardboard right there, lining it up with that trim of the black part. And from there, I'm just painting everything. And now the metal, it has the front and then the two sides, so I have to you have to paint it on different angles, like the front and then on the right side towards the left and then on the left side towards the right. So that way you can get all of the surfaces of the, of the metal. And so right here, I'm starting right there on the top, just getting some nice good coverage, painting it on that side, all of that over there. And then I'm also painting this other side. So, and I'm just taking a look at it, just making sure that 
and you'll tell right away, you know, because obviously before the the metal was gray, and as you start painting in, you'll be able to see like the lighter portions or any areas that are not painted yet, and so you'll you'll tell right away and just make sure you give it another pass. But uh, that's pretty much the process of how you can paint a security gate with two different colors. And now this, it looks a lot better with the two different colors. You got the white there at the top that matches the wall. And then you got the lower black that goes more along with what they have in the building. So we hope you like this video. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos that we're going to be uploading. Hit the like button, send us a comment, share it with your friends. All of that will help us so we continue to grow this channel and we can continue to provide more content in the future. We also have links in the description of common hand tools that we use in a lot of our projects. May God bless you and we'll see you on the next project.